back for this next tutorial. We're going to look at lesson three. Um, and this is going to be keeping with the theme of architecture, of course. We are going to be looking at the birdhouse, okay, the house for the birds. Now, this um, I've tried to combine the, um, the second activity with the first activity, but it is quite complicated. We're going to be combining objects. We're making a hollow box. The box is an unusual shape. Uh, of course, there's a perch on here and a hole that goes through into the box. The birds can jump on and get in and out. And um, a roof. And then you can see the roof is not, neither is the box, part of these shapes. We are looking now at combining shapes. Rather than putting holes in shapes, we're looking at combining shapes. So, without further ado, we'll get started. Here we go, create new design, as before, and with the basic shapes, I'm going to click on the box, drag it in, and I'm going to set all the measurements to 50. Okay, so we've got a red box, all the measurements 50. I'm now going to get a wedge, like so. And I'm going to make this 50 wide and this 50 deep. Okay, doesn't look much like a square, and I'm going to set the height to 30. Okay, now it's a good idea. Now we've we've also we've got the workplace, we've also got the ruler. If I um, click on the ruler and drag it in place, I can put it on this corner. Okay, so now this box is on the edge of this ruler. So now I can do the same with this, and I can put this at the edge of that. And in theory, I can, oh, there we go. I can drag it up 50 spaces. And that is what we're going to use for our birdhouse. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to hollow this shape out. So I'm going to take this away, move it onto one side. I am going to get another box, like so. I'm going to make this one 50. And I'm going to make the width. 44 and the length 44 and that is going to become a hole but I'm going to drag it up 44 I'm going to drag it up for three yeah I'm going to drag it up four pixels okay or four millimeters sorry I click on the hole I'm going to drag that and I'm going to put that over there. Click on the top view and make sure that, I'll zoom in a little bit, and make sure that is in place. Okay, it's a little bit low, so I'm just going to click on it again and move it to there. Okay, so I've got a hole sat inside the box. I've moved it up, up slightly, so you can see that. It's just sticking out of the box. I'm then going to combine the two. One, two, three. So now the box is hollow. Okay. I can then bring this back and put this over the top. So I'll pop that in. Like so. Check all the way around to make sure it is in line, and I think it is. Go back to the front view. Put it on a little bit of an isometry, a little bit of a 3D plane. I can now click on this and this, and I can group them together. 
So I've now got a solid roof and a hollow box. Okay, I could have made the entire thing hollow by shrinking this down, but I think for the purposes of this, it might be easier. So I'll put it back to red for this. Okay, now we need the roof. Now this is a tricky bit. I'm going to use the wedge again, pop it in place. Now we know that this is 50 here, and we know that the height of it is 30. But we've got to do an external roof on this. So we're going to make it, so we're going to make two roofs and make one bigger than the other. Okay? So, working on this, we'll make this one the same size. 50. Width of it, so make the width of it slightly bigger, 60. And you'll see why. I'm just going to drag that. In the position I'm in. How am I going to make the height of it? 30. So that is going to be the same size as that box there. Perfect. Okay. But this is going to be a hole in a second. Okay. First of all, though, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy it and paste. And I'm going to make this slightly bigger all the way around. Okay. Apart from this size, which I am going to make. So it's going to, there's going to be a, a whole, an overhang at the front, 55. So just to keep the rain off the birds. Okay, there we go. So let's zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. Again, two fingers and a shift key to pan. Right, where do I want this to start? Start it about there. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to create parallel lines here. And then I'm going to drag this, like so, keeping the triangle at the top, trying to keep everything in proportion. And then I'm going to make this bigger, going this way. Like so. I'm just going to click on the front view so I can see and make sure that's okay. Shift key again, drag it. There we go. Yeah. So that to me looks okay. Yeah. So all it leaves me to do now is turn that into a hole. Sorry, I've grabbed the wrong bit. Just control and Z on the keyboard to undo. Maybe if I grab it here, that one, hole, and this one, and we're going to group those two. Okay, there we have got a roof for our birdhouse. Um, this needs to be pulled up by 50. 48, 50, down at the bottom there, 50, and then we'll move it into position. Okay, I'm just going to combine the two there and pull that over. Okay, now if we go to the back view, I can get this lined up with the triangles. Okay, I'm just going to angle it a little bit to make sure it goes to the edge. Click and drag it. No, I think that's okay. And then we've got the overhang at the front. Perfect. Okay, which leaves me just to do the hollowed out bit. So I'm going to go down to or throw it up to cylinder. I'm going to drag a cylinder down. I'm going to make the diameter of this cylinder 12. 
so I'm going to 12 there and 12 there. Of course, it's the wrong way around. So let's knock that shape out. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. And then I'm going to lift this up and move it into position. Again, click on the front view so I can see what I'm doing. It's all about moving the camera angles around. So let's kind of just move that up into position. I don't want to go into this area here because this is solid. I want to stay within the hollowed out section there. Okay, so that's in place. If I grab this, turn it into a hole. In fact, before I do that, copy and paste it, control C, control V on the keyboard. I'm going to make it six by six. And this one I'm going to turn into a hole. And I'm going to click on the red and group them together. So that becomes a hole inside there. And this perch I can just move down and I'm going to move it inside. Come back on the front view to make sure. Yeah, perfect. So I've got my perch. I've got the hole in the birdhouse. I've got the hollow box, solid roof, and that is looking very, very nice. So all it leaves me now is to recolor it. So I am going to choose a radical. Let's have a purple roof. Let's have a, something a little bit lighter, maybe a light blue birdhouse. And I want to leave the perch to look like a wooden perch. Shift key again, drag it down. And there's the finished birdhouse. Okay, that is the end of the lesson. Um, any questions, please let me know. But in the meantime, good luck and see how you get on. Thank you very much for watching.